What's up YouTube, ODSG General back again with some Emerge NYC, and uh, it's finally time guys, the big update that we've been waiting for for ages has come out, and uh, to be honest, I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised. Now, if you guys have followed my channel for a while, you will know that I've been pretty critical of Emerge NYC over the past few years. You know, I've covered the project since before the uh, initial demo came out, you know, and uh, I was a very early supporter of the project, and unfortunately just for me, it didn't really live up to expectations. Um, you know, and I, I can acknowledge that it's an indie project, and I'm well aware of that, but uh, it just, performance-wise and all sorts of other issues, it's just never really stacked up. There's been a lot of problems. Uh, this patch addresses a lot of stuff. So now, Performance is still an issue, as far as I can tell. I've, I've seen some pretty disgusting frame drops here and there. It's pretty uncommon, uh, but a couple times while I was in the Fire Academy, I had my frames drop down to like 4 frames per second. It was pretty uncommon, but it was happening. Um, overall, though, my frames are generally a bit better. We are on Montgomery County right now, and I'm at about 40 frames per second. Now, I have a pretty powerful PC. Not the most powerful that you can get, of course. I'm not running, like, a 3090 or anything absurd like that, but I've got a 3070. Uh, at any rate, though, you know, the frames and stuff still aren't perfect. There's still room for improvement, and I hope that they continue to do so. But, you know, despite that, the fact is, is that I'm actually not really seeing a major difference between, like, down points like this and when there's actual calls and stuff going on. Like, when there's actual fires, there's not a huge impact. And when hoses and stuff are being pulled out, you know, there might be a, a little brief drop while stuff loads in. But uh, it's very minor impact, so I'm, I'm very excited about this. Uh, in addition to that, there's been a insane number of changes, and that's the only way I can describe it. I don't even know where to cover this, because I've got the patch notes, and there's just pages and pages of patch notes to cover, and it's so crazy. Um, obviously, Montgomery County, we're in Montgomery County now, it's back in, it's ready to go, uh, tons of new units, wildland firefighting, uh, new AI commands for Brooklyn and Manhattan that allows you to... Uh, not only control where your units are, but what direction they park in, control deployment of the hoses through RTS mode, uh, control deployment of the ladder, the speed of the vehicle, all sorts of stuff. Um, destructible buildings are in now. Like A lot of buildings are almost fully destructible from the ground up, every little bit of wall and everything. It's very exciting. Uh, there's medical calls, medical stuff back in. So we've got a single vehicle incident or accident or whatever here. Uh, down this way, it looks like right in the highway. So let's go ahead and it looks like we do have a victim. Uh, so we'll need two apparatus here. So let's go ahead and get a engine. Uh, I don't know what the closest engine is, so we'll just do engine one. And then once that one's spawned in, we'll go ahead and, uh, or we'll actually just... Oh, that's actually through the fire department. Okay, so we're going to go back and we're going to go back into fire. Uh, there's engine one finally spawned in and we're going to do fire ambulance. And so we'll start with engine one. I, I don't know if this has spreaders. I'm assuming that it's going to have spreaders on here. Uh, so we'll have to check that real quick. All right. So... This is one of the new apparatus, obviously. Uh, very, very different from what we've had in the game previously. It's a, a white engine, which is uh, pretty crazy as far as I'm concerned, but it's it's cool. I've uh, I looked close to a place that uses a white engine. I personally like that design a little bit more on those ones because it's like white and blue, and it's just, you know, it's what I've grown up with, so I'm a little bit more accustomed to it, I think. Uh, I'm thinking and uh, it's starting to look that way at least, that we aren't going to have spreaders on here. I don't know if we'll need to bring um, which apparatus in this actually has the uh, the spreaders. This is the um, pump system here. Just double check, make sure it's not back here. That's, yeah, host connection and stuff. Okay, um... You need to hurry up, though, because there's obviously a victim here. Yeah, I haven't really had a chance to familiarize myself with these new units, so I don't know if Engine 2 is going to have this either. Uh, Engine 2, the sleek black unit. This one's even better looking, in my opinion. Um...
Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, first-person cameras in the station, especially these stations, is uh, still pretty janky. They're very close uh, quarters. You know, the first-person camera just leaves room to be desired. The third person's just a little too small of an area. Uh, I'm not seeing spreaders here on any of these, so I don't know if we're going to have to look for a, a truck company. You'd think that since this is based off of more rural apparatus, we'd have spreaders on the engines. But it seems that's not the case. Which is a shame, because I'd love to bring that one out. That thing's cool. Um, we've got the Quince Tanker Chief Brush Truck. I'm guessing it's going to be, because it's on the others, it's got to be on the Quint, right? That's the only other thing that makes any sense. So let's get on the Quint here. Yep, yeah, there's spreaders. Okay. Oop. I didn't want to open you too. Nope. Stop that. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that up. So the, uh, the driving mechanics have changed a bit, as you guys can see there's also a speedometer and stuff now. Um, a little bit tougher to drive now in my opinion. It's uh, It feels like it's probably a little bit better, the engines feel a lot heavier. The vehicles do seem to stop really fast, which I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Uh, definitely it's taking me some getting used to as far as uh, driving these apparatus around, especially on the tight turns and stuff that, you know, as Montgomery County, you'd think driving in the city would be a lot tougher, but finding that to not really be the case so much. I'm really bad at these. Now, I was actually practicing with the spreaders because I haven't really used them in ages on the, um... Oh. On the uh, tutorial level, on the Fire Academy, I was really struggling with it on there. It seems like it worked okay here, though. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead, get rid of this. And we're going to take a look at the victim here, get him out of the vehicle and everything. Let's see if he's uh, responding. Went to take his pulse. Okay. Uh, so we need that ambulance on scene here. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to Medic 1. Oh, that was a bit janky. Uh, 
that's trying to turn it just can't. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's not good. And a big rush here, and we just rolled the ambulance. Let's try that again. Should I cut that part, guys? <laughs> I'm probably going to run without uh, sirens, actually, this time, just so I can talk while I'm uh, going here. So, yeah, I mean, it's... You know, it's definitely a lot different in so many respects, and it's actually very exciting. Now, of course, just, you know, chief concern, as usual, is the, um, you know, is really the performance. But the fact that the performance does seem to have improved pretty vastly here, uh, I'm pretty happy about it. Right now I'm playing, you know, I'm getting 50 FPS, and, uh, you know, we've got only two apparatus, so it's not, like, super crazy right now. Um, but, oh my god, it's that same spot, too. Just, like, ah. Oh. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. Oh, I accidentally despawned the, uh, ladder. It's all bad, guys. Alright, let's try this again. One last time, right? I gotta be, like, really careful going through that intersection, because I thought maybe it was something I did. I was just going too fast. I was going, I think, at least it felt like I was going a lot slower. Maybe it's because I didn't have my sirens and stuff on. Um... I'm guessing, though, part of it's just kind of the natural way you turn on that intersection and how lightweight the ambulance is. Well, the ambulance definitely feels a lot lighter, I mean, it makes sense, than the uh, than the other apparatus that I've been driving. I haven't driven the uh, the brush truck or anything yet. So, we gotta be careful right here. This is where it keeps getting us. Yeah, because you're like you're going downhill and you're turning, so you're picking up speed, and it's just it's really just begging for an accident. So unfortunately, we don't have our uh, ladder truck, our quints there anymore. Hopefully, that's not going to be an issue. Um, was it this far up? Oh, I guess it was. I felt like it was closer to like where those rocks we just passed by where I didn't realize it was this far away. Anyways, hopefully this guy's okay here. Um, I mean, if he's not, you know, there's not much we really could have done to get here a little bit quicker, realistically. Stop. Um, I mean, the only thing that would help, too, is if I'd really become more familiar with the um, ambulance and stuff before I and you know the fire trucks and stuff before I got here so I mean we could have been here a little bit quicker but there's a lot of stuff that happened that uh, unfortunately would have prevented us from coming here oh. I don't want to tourniquet his arm all right let's get a collar on him Um, I don't know if he's responsive at all. His age is 19. Chief complaints major trauma, you don't say. Alright, so he's got uh, no medications, no medical history or anything. Um, and it's being kind of feisty here with the um like trying to actually like get him all set up on these treatments and everything yeah like i accidentally just put him on now yeah i don't know how to heal him because i know i saw at least when raf had uh, done this i don't know if it's changed um oh i definitely don't want to like give him random medications which i'm pretty sure i did exactly just that just now um he was able to like actually inspect him and everything and look at like all of his injuries to see what needed to be done so i'm not exactly sure if that's what's if that's just not in currently or what because this isn't th th quite the full build there's still going to be changes and stuff that are going to happen uh, I, I don't know what all exactly these changes were. It's, yeah, it's like, it's, I click once, and it's cl essentially clicking twice. 
in some cases. Okay, so there's nothing else there. I mean, I don't think there's much else I can really do right now except for basically get him in and transport him. I thought I saw a thing to check the pulse, but I don't see that now. So we'll grab the uh, the stretcher, I guess, and uh, bring it on over here and get him all set up. Run him over with it first. Now I can't remember how to load him on. Um, so he's 131 over 88, so his blood pressure is high. It's, uh, I mean, he seems to be in pretty stable condition, not ideal, but, um, it could be far worse. Uh, we got that. Let's get him on backboard. There we go. Not yeah. I guess maybe it's because I have the stretcher here. I'm getting more options, so maybe I should have just brought the stretcher with me as I guess part of what it was. Um, he's kind of spinning away from me, though. Yeah, I'm not sure how to, to check to see where he's got, uh, breaks and stuff, because I, I applied a splint and I applied it to his right leg, which actually his right leg looks okay, but he's got blood on his left leg. I just don't know if it's, like, broken or not. Um. Oh, no, don't do that. I meant to check his vitals again. I'm gonna kill the patient. Nope. Nope. And where did I get my tick from? How did- when did I get that out? I forgot I could click this. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember... How do uh, I? Yeah, I don't remember how to inspect him. If that was a thing before, I don't even know how to load him up on the stretcher right now. Is the other issue I'm having. Okay, so I can move patient uh, because they, uh, now I've got him on the um, backboard. Backboard. Um, okay. Yeah, if you say so. And go ahead and bring him back here. I guess it's pretty wonky. Uh, return stretcher. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Oh gosh, I don't understand what's going on. It's gotta be the stretcher at the patient in the back, like him spinning around like that. It's gotta be causing all sorts of chaos somehow. Like, I can't get out either. I'm stuck in here. Oh gosh, I don't know what that was about. That was super weird. Uh, so, we've got, still got a vehicle. We'll pretend like we took him there and took him and take, took care of him. We're gonna call that a pretty big bug. Uh, it happens though, but yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this tow truck and uh, use this to transport. So we spawn in actually as a uh, cop for the tow truck, kind of, sort of interestingly. That makes a lot of sense to me, but just because it's spawned under the police, it would be kind of cool if there was like a, a civilian section, I guess, maybe possibly something needs to be done. Wow, you look super duper tiny in that tow truck. I'm guessing, I don't know, the tow truck really doesn't look that big compared to other vehicles. It looks about like what you expect the right size for a tow truck like this, a big flatbed to be, but the cop looks so small in there. Is the cop tiny? Is it actually just a tiny cop? <laughs> I don't think it's that big. Well, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe it is a big tow truck. It doesn't really look like it, though. Not to me. Oh, man. 
it's got to turn here. Yeah, these corners are really getting me here in this uh, this update. This thing's obviously looking like it's not completed just based on those back tires having some sort of wonky texture thing going on with them. Obviously, the uh, the interior does work here, but very much not done and looks super wonky um, with that cop inside. Even more so. So yeah, it is. He looks so tiny in there, and I wonder if it's just. Uh, I wonder if like it's because I think in a lot of cases it's basically a model swap. You're not actually using the same player model. You're just essentially inserting a copy of the player's uh, model into the apparatus. I'm wondering if maybe it got downscaled. Possibly that would make sense. Somebody like input an incorrect value for like setting it up inside the vehicle and it just put a tiny cop in there. That that's what makes the most sense to me because like I said the truck doesn't really look. It looks kind of big but it doesn't look that much bigger than what you'd expect. And it's kind of hard to tell because it's just you know relative distance and stuff like that. But still, now I've never used this tow truck or the flatbed truck I should say. Uh, I don't know exactly what to expect here. Uh, we're going to drive around this car here, if we can. Not technically hitting it, but I guess we're, well, we're not hitting the side either, but it's stopping us nonetheless, and we're going to back up to it. Now, personally, yeah, I would just uh, park behind it and then just drag it on backwards probably would be the easiest thing. I don't know. Maybe not. If you're, I, just to, if it was a bigger highway, I'd say turn around or whatever and do it that way. Um, yeah, I don't know how to use this thing. I don't even know if this is actually functional, to be honest with you guys. I'll assume it is. Worked in the demo videos, but obviously there's changes and stuff that have happened since then. It looks like these are the controls. I'm not seeing anything pop up. Do I get anything on the car, tow car? Oh, perfect. Yep, the car's right there. It's just control menu thing on the car as of right now, at least. Maybe that'll change later on. Um, at any rate, let's go ahead and take the car away. I'm not sure where we would uh, want to take this car here. Oh. Keep clicking off the screen on accident. So one thing I hate is Emerge NYC's UI makes it super duper easy to click off screen unintentionally because it's uh, like it's set to full screen even and you can still click outside the screen that still lets the mouse go like outside the screen and interact with stuff off the screen because it's uh, full screen borderless or whatever which can be kind of nice but the fact that like how easily it is or just during like the course of like normal gameplay if you like you because you have to click all to activate your mouse i don't know i is anybody else who's played emerge NYC? i want to know is that just a me thing or have a lot of you guys out there accidentally like clicked outside like onto like a second monitor or if you guys have a third monitor oh my gosh i don't think i'll be able to make this here this is such a steep hill i lost all my speed when i bumped that we're going down This is so tough, this terrain, because these it's not really designed for vehicles this big, I'm guessing, but it's so like it's super steep and everything, and these vehicles are like really long, so it makes these uh tight turns and stuff really tricky. And you lose all your momentum going up the hill. I mean obviously we've already seen today how dangerous going down the hill is. Going up is uh, a lot tougher. It's less dangerous arguably, but a lot tougher. Uh, and we're gonna just blow by these guys here. Obviously, legally, we shouldn't be doing this because we're a tow truck, not an emergency vehicle. No blowing by these people. Oh, off the road. The floating road. Help! I've fallen and I can't get up. All right, I don't know if there's any coming back from this. Yeah, see, oh yeah, it's definitely downscaling him. Looking at him, compare, I, like I didn't even really pay too much attention when I went to get the car because I was focusing on the car, but now I'm actually like looking at it, 
and paying attention to like how big he is next to that door. It's definitely downscaling him. There's no way it's not. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can treat this like flashing lights where I can like push the vehicle. Uh, I'm pretty sure that thing's just stuck. Three units went out to that call, zero units returned. Intact. Technically, I accidentally closed the quint out. That one would have probably made it back intact and fine, but hey, it's fine. Um, so, how much time are we at? Because I've spent kind of wasted a lot of time. It's already 26 minutes. Okay. Uh, so we'll probably call this a video here, guys. Uh, it's not the greatest video, but this is the first call. It was a uh, car accident. As you guys can see, uh, performance-wise, it's much smoother. Uh, there is, you know, there's new calls and medical stuff's back. I really didn't know. Part of it was just me not knowing what I was doing because I haven't really had an opportunity to fully check out or play this, uh, this development build yet. Um, you know, and then part of it's just the fact that Emerge NYC is still a buggy game. It's still in development and it still has a lot of fixes that need to happen. Um, but there was a lot of good strides made with this update very clearly to me. There's a lot of exciting stuff I still want to show off to you guys that I haven't had a chance to. Uh, so let me guys know what you think. Did you guys, uh, if you have played the Emerge NYC update on the, uh, the staging branch build, uh, what do you guys think of it? You guys enjoying the new update uh, based off this video? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.